Hello beautiful people, welcome to Annie Betty's Kitchen. This is your food and nutrition chef, Esther Adjuma. Today we're talking Christmas starters. I don't know about you, but I love Christmas. I love celebrations in general, not just Christmas. Any celebration you see me there. And Christmas makes me like a baby, so it puts me in that jubilation mood. And today we are talking about prawn cocktail and green peppered king prawn. So you can make it into a cocktail, the prawn cocktails or green peppered king prawn. So let's start. But before we start, let me talk about my ingredients today. So today I paid a visit to my farmer's market and this is broccoli. It's, I don't know if you can see it, but it's purple broccoli. And this is, um, a type of kale it's beautiful and i got some smoked garlic all these are organic the mushrooms it's just it's just beautiful if you haven't tried shopping at the farmer's market i will suggest you try that the ingredients are so fresh and i asked them with this one there are no insecticides no pesticides they don't spray it so you get the freshness of, of the food. Okay, let's go back to what we do. To make a quick stir fry with the um, garlic, ginger, the chilies, then I'll use the vegetables to make a side split. If you watch the video about the oils, I'm using avocado oil. Um, I'll add the link so the link if you haven't watched it the link will be in the description button the best oil to use when you should use it and this is diced garlic three cloves I've got two smoked and one unsmoked and I've got yellow and red habanero chili if you've been watching my recipes you will know I'm so crazy about the yellow habanero chili because it's got this fruity aromatic flavor it makes your food taste good and smell good and I've got wine vinegar and this is lemon juice because it's fish these helps takes the nauseatic um, smell of it and this is ginger diced ginger so I'll put the link on how to do this and I've got one red onion, one white onion, and I'm going to stir fry them now. So let's start with our oil. Just a dollop. In goes our garlic and chili. And in goes our ginger. Leave it to saute so that they bring out their oils as well. Onions, and I'll leave it to saute. The shell apron you just make an incision and you take it up you just pull it and the skin comes off and normally it's got a vein this has been deveined but there's this um, thread like it looks a bit grayish when it's there you have to take it out because it, it's the taste is not nice at all so you take it off in goes as colors and our fries. I'll saute the scallops a bit before I add the bones. Add in a bit of salt. In goes our fries. And now I'm going to add the vinegar. So that's one tablespoon of vinegar, one tablespoon of orange juice. Then goes a bit of salt. Mix perfect. So I've got red, I've got white, I've got black. It's a mixture. And it makes it so flavorsome. You need to spice up your seafood. When you spice it up, it's so yummy. I'm going to leave it on for the juices to reduce. Um, but before then, I'm going to add a bit of nut to it, just a tiny bit, it gives it a real good flavour. 
in goes our flavored prawns. It's already looking good, ain't it? Ain't it, people? Go some mixed herbs. There's one teaspoon. Then I need to taste it at this point to correct the seasoning. I'm going to give it a taste. It's a bit of salt and pepper. Uh, remember, I love using my pink Himalayan too. And my pepper. Give it a good stir. It's almost done. I've got one teaspoon of corn flour. We'll leave it to reduce the we add. Uh, toasted sesame oil and sesame seeds. We need about one teaspoon toasted sesame oil and about one tablespoon toasted sesame seeds. If you're allergic to sesame, this is very optional. You can omit it. But if you are not, add it and add a whole new flavor to it and sesame seeds are really, really nutritious. You know, I'm about the, your health and well-being. Yeah, my goodness, people. Oh, tastes so good. Imagine yourself dipping this in the sauce. We'll do my finish the sauce. Celebrations are beautiful. Life is beautiful. Let's make it beautiful. Indulge in nutritious foods, people. Yum, yum. This is a splash of uh, avocado oil. You can use olive oil or coconut. I prefer to use the avocado. The ingos are peppers. So, you know, when you eat rainbow, the rainbow colors, it helps you get um, a lot of nutrients because every color has different nutrients it gives. So make sure you eat like a rainbow. I'm going to saute this for some time, then I'll add the mushrooms. It's sauteed for about two minutes. In goes our mushrooms. You no, know, but mushrooms are a good sort, source of vitamin D. If you eat mushrooms every day, get a lot of goodness. I'll be covering up on mushrooms. Just eat the mushrooms alone. In goes a uh, uh, this is kale. And my broccoli. My purple broccoli. This that's a so yummy and uh, it's packed with so much nutrients and so much color and so much flavor. So this will be our side salad to our starter. Mm -hmm. Christmas is going to be dope. Some salt. One teaspoon sesame seeds. And again, this is optional in the sesame oil if you are allergic to it but if you are not it's good it's yummy it's flavorful it's nutritious let your food be your medicine but because it's your medicine doesn't mean it shouldn't be yummy make it yummy now i'm going to dish it out then we'll prepare our green pet pet cocktail sauce Goodness, people, so good. People, you need to try this. It's packed with so much goodness. You've got kale, you've got broccoli, you've got mushrooms, you've got mixed peppers, sesame seeds. It's packed with so much goodness, and yet it is so good. I said we are going to do prawn cocktails. So, with the cocktail, you can just add cheese to it and mix it up and it will be in the sauce or you can put the sauce on the side and dip it in 
I prefer dipping it in so I'm going to mix it up this will be the green pepper sauce on the side so people can dip as and when they take it and what I love is this is the cheese sauce I love using so I take a bit of that and I add a bit of this cheese sauce we're going to mix it up together if you're allergic to dairy you can get dairy free dairy free cheese or you can omit it really or you can add mayo your ketchup so I'm going to add a bit of olive oil olive oil is good for you it's good for your brain but you can omit it if you don't want to you don't want it too oily but that's organic extra virgin olive oil so it's good for your brain it's a brain food genius food of the size here so imagine having this for your starter mm? let's try it which sauce would you want the green pepper sauce or the cheesy one okay go ahead and give your feedback mm. yum is it Don't finish it. <laughs> <laughs>